Started pretty soon. They're gonna start marching pretty soon. These guys out here. No, I don't want home on feet. Jesus didn't want the sinner feet either. He wanted his disciples to be. He did not sit there and walk home on feet. He condemned homos to death. Read the book of Romans. Homosexuals are worthy of death. That's what the Bible, Romans chapter 1, verse 32. You have no better boldness. The whole Bible, Jesus. Jesus is the word made flesh. And by the way, Jesus confirmed the marriage of one man, one woman. And in Jesus' time, they were still these homosexuals, weren't they? Are they showing homosexuals in Jesus' time? Yes or no? Well, you're half right. Were homosexuals being shown when Jesus walked the earth? Yes or no? Was she? No, no, he didn't say the homos. Yes, no? What's that? Right now, yes, I am. I haven't sinned in a long time. Absolutely. What, say what? That's a lie. Say what? Uh, Matthew, 1 Corinthians, Romans. Matthew confirmed marriage is one man, one woman. Marriage is a, a father... A son will leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. The Bible is a heterosexual book. Everything about the Bible is heterosexual. Let's put these guys behind me as I'm preaching. Yeah, you want to talk about this? You want to sit on the Bible verse. The entire Bible is a heterosexual book. Mother, father, there's nothing. Over 33, over 33,000 verses in the Bible. No, it's not. When did you? Oh my God! When did you bounce him like a homo? No, it's not. You don't know the Bible. You're a pervert. You're a pervert. You want it? The Bible deals with slavery, yes. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. It does. It does deal with it. Okay. And it's okay. It doesn't deal with the fact that you're rules for it. There's a difference. You've never read it. I got. Oh, I read the Bible. You haven't. Look at you. If you read the Bible, you wouldn't be so retarded. Recognize slavery. Recognize slavery. See, you're viewing slavery through the lens of American history, not in, not in the world. Do you know, do you know, how many slaves are in Islam right now? How many Muslims have slaves? How many Muslims have slaves? There are more slaves today than there was at the height of the Roman Empire. Do you want to talk about slavery? Do you want to end the slavery? Then fine. Why don't you actually do something about slavery? Why don't you go out there? Oh, yes, I do. None of your business. Look me up. What do you do? Because I sit here and go, I want to have fun sex with children. I want to rip babies out of the room. That's all you do. You are the grave. You are retarded. Do you see a psychiatrist? You're retarded. Jesus is my psychiatrist. I don't need I don't need Prozac. I don't need Xanax. I don't need antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications like you people. I don't need psychotropic drugs. I don't need drugs to make myself feel better about myself. Why? Because I'm not a pervert. Because I don't advocate for murder. Of course you do. I'm not surprised by that. You're a pervert. All of you here are pervert. You have no self-control. You're violent thugs. You love violence. You hate everything good, fair, and decent. You hate God. You hate everything. You hate life. You are of your father, the devil. Your only goal is to kill, steal, and destroy. Just like your daddy, the devil. Ah, look at that. God threw a burger, didn't I? Here's that. What's that? I don't care. I don't listen to women talk. I don't 
women, we are most women on the period talk. Men are talking. Men are talking. It's time for the women to shut up. Jesus time for you to make your husband a sandwich. Women should be, women are supposed to lie in silence. You're not